Fallout 3, one of my favorite games of all time and my very first open world RPG. When I first played it as a kid over a friend's house, I instantly fell in love with the game and I remember trying for hours to get outside of the vault. And to be honest, I don't know why it took me that long to escape the vault, but when I did, I saw my favorite moment in gaming. I was just captivated by the wasteland. Like how did they make a place that was destroyed by nuclear bombs? Interesting and beautiful at the same time. The beginning of the game is so perfect to me. Like seeing Lucas Sims when you first enter Megaton and him asking you to disarm the bomb, to talking to Moira and getting the armor vault suit. The open world of the game is also perfect to me. When I first played back in the day, I used to be scared for some reason to go outside of Megaton to fight and explore. Like I vividly remember me sitting at the brass lantern for no reason, just enjoying the game and just being like, if nobody else is fighting, I won't fight. I'm going to just sit here and just chill. I don't know, man. I was just scared for some reason. Eventually, when I ventured outside the Megaton, I got lost in the game. I just explored, finding places like Paradise Falls, Dog Meat, the Underworld. And with this being my first open world game, I just got hooked. I've explored so much of that wasteland, I just know like the back of my hand. And for me personally, I don't feel like it's nostalgia because I just did a full playthrough not too long ago and the game was still fun. to your tape from my fortified bunker in the middle of a DC hellhole. Ain't life grand. And here's me <laughs> with the news. So now we're going to get into the radio of Fallout 3. And I'm talking about Galaxy News Radio. I'm not talking about the Enclave Radio. I don't listen to that. This radio is just so perfect to me. It's crazy. I love every single song on it and I know all the songs word for word. And it's just a good vibe when you're playing the game. And I can't tell you the amount of times I've fallen asleep while listening to the radio. It's just so soothing. And the developers just did an amazing job of picking the songs for it. It's, it's just great to me. In my opinion, 3Dog is the best radio host out of all the games. He has a lot of character which really brings life to the game while you're playing. And you'll sometimes laugh at stuff he's saying. Another thing is he's a part of the main story. Unless you skip the part where you have to go to the GNR Plaza. But if you don't, it's pretty cool to actually talk to him and do his quest. This game has a lot of cool side quests. Ranging from the Wasteland Survival Guide, those, and you gotta shoot him in the head. A lot of these side quests are better than the main story in my opinion. They have a deep story, and they let you learn more about the characters and the Capital Wasteland. My favorite would have to be Trouble on the Home Front, where you have to go back to Vault 101 to resolve the issues that are going on. And later on in the story, you can find some of the Vault residents in the Capital Wasteland, depending on what choice you choose. Now, despite the game's flaws, like not having a lot of freedom choices in the game, or it's questionable world building decisions, like why is Megaton built around an atomic bomb? And why does this lady's house not have a toilet? Who the hell are you? The game is still amazing to me. And no one can tell me otherwise. 